Hello everybody and welcome to another mystery box function challenge. In the purple mystery box there is some math and your challenge is to figure out what that math is. You can use the link in the description, pause the video and put in as many numbers as you like at the top, see how they come out transformed at the bottom. And once you get an idea about what you think is inside that mystery box, come on back, listen to the rest of the video and see if we get the same thing. All right, let's begin. All right, and zero, oh, zero gives us, well, I, it seems to say negative infinity. How interesting. This idea that you'd get zero or you'd get out infinity, which, you know, actually that's not technically true. You wouldn't get out infinity. Um, infinity is not a number, but it makes me think it's it's one over X. That, that's the kind of thing, although this says negative infinity. So something, maybe it's negative one over X, something like that. Let's uh, Let's try some more numbers. Maybe this is just negative 1 over x. If it's negative 1 over x, this should give us a negative 1, right? Aha. Uh -huh. And this should give us a negative 1 half if we put in 2. Oh, it doesn't. It gives us a negative 1 fourth. Huh. What if I put in 3? Three? 3. Oh, and that's negative 0.1 repeating, which is negative 1 ninth. Interesting. And what happens if I put in, well, what happens if I put in 1 half? And that gives us negative 4. Hmm. So this is not just negative 1 over x. I'm really curious what happens if I put in some negative numbers now, because if it's negative one over X or something like that, I'd get a one arm down here and one arm up here. Let's, let's put in a negative one. Aha. Okay. I think I see what's going on now. Let's put in a negative one half as well. Yeah. And I'm going to put in a negative two to flesh it out a little bit more. Yep, there we go. So I expected an arm here and an arm here, but we got two arms down here. And the numbers are off from negative one over X. When I put in one half, I get a negative four. So how is that happening? So let's, let's think about that. I've got a negative one over, and if I just had X, I put one half down in here, that would be a negative two because the one over flips the fraction. So we're turning a two into a four, but we're leaving the one alone. What would do that? I think if you square that, that would be one fourth and then one over one fourth would be negative four. So my hunch here is that the function is a negative one over X squared. So what could we what could we put in here to test that? Let's put in a negative three and think about what we would get. So a negative three, actually let's put in a negative one third. I like that. So negative one third. So if I put in a negative one third here, I would have negative one third quantity squared. So this is going to come out to be a positive one over nine when I square that. And then I take one over one over nine, it becomes a nine, and then I have a negative of that. So it should be negative nine if I put in negative one third. Let's give that a try. So negative one third. And that is negative nine. Okay. I think we've got this. This is f of x equals negative one over x squared. I'm pretty sure. So let's give that a try. And there it is, negative one over x squared. And we can go ahead and graph that. Yeah, two uh, very steep arms approaching the y-axis down at negative infinity and, and approaching the x-axis along its length there uh, to, the, to the left and to the right. Well, how did that go for you? I think this was a little tricky. Did you guess a, some variant of 1 over x right away? Let me know. Thanks, everybody.